now. You know, there's, there's nothing like hitting the button, by the way, and knowing that we're going to be live. So I'm going to go over, by the way. And, you know, Anish, I always ask this question. Have you ever started a, a webinar or a broadcast, forgot to hit the record button? Have you ever done that? Oh, yeah, 45 whole minutes. 45 whole minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I always ask that question, Rob, because she's not alone. Have you, have you done that as well before? Yeah, I've done it for the entire show, actually, wondering what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to someone before, and I did that. I was interviewing the George C. Frazier, by the way, and he's an amazing, incredible guy. Yeah. And I uh, got going, and guess what? I never, ever hit the record button. And they were like, hello. And I said, uh, I was ashamed to ask them if we could do it over again. I was just like, uh, I think it went okay. Everything went oh, fine. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, how do you even recover from that? What did you do it over? Uh, no, I had to tell him. I said, "Oh, we had a problem," and he's probably watching this video and wonder why this thing never aired. It never aired because I made a boo boo. <laughs> but I do want to welcome the folks that are joining on. By the way, we got a number of folks, by the way, who are joining on. I think we're live. I'm gonna go over to my page and do a mic check, mic check. But I see we have Dave Anderson in the house. What's up, business bully out of Philadelphia? Dave, you gotta call me. We gotta get you on, my man. What's up? What's up? What's up? Mario Reynolds is in the house. Thanks for joining. Savella, what's up? Savella's in the house. Stacy Moore's in the house. Jacqueline Taylor Adams in the house. Katisha Pitts, what's up? What's up? D Bowden, it is always a pleasure. Sherry Wallace, all right, all right. They're joining on. Um, we're going to get started in just a second, but let me do a mic check, mic check. Anisha, can you give us a mic check, mic check, like one, two, three? So Stacy Moore is putting hearts out there. She want to make sure she can hear you. Oh, now I gotta go. Nineties, mic check. One, two, one, two. <laughs> well, at least you know about it. <laughs> that means that means you was around to experience it. <laughs> Throw your hands in the air. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, mic check, mic check. And you guys here, none other than Rob Howes over there. Rob, do your mic check, mic check, my man. Since you got the big headset on, Dave Anderson, you see him? He's like back in the eighties. He got the big headset on. He got the mic on. I try to tell them that these cameras have microphones, but do a mic check, mic check, my man. My mic sounds nice. Check one. That's back in the 80s, too. I think that's like the late 80s. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I think Salt and Pepper 80s. in the house. Salt and Pepper, baby, in the house. Do me a favor. Everyone, look right below the video. If you can hear us, just say, hey, guys, we hear you. Say, if you hear me, say, Shay, we hear you. If you hear Anisha, put number two. Number two is the signal that you hear, Anisha. Hit number three, that's the signal that you hear, none other than Rob, so we can make sure that we are being, what, heard, and we are excited. Um, Anisha, are you excited over there in Las Vegas? Oh, yeah, I'm super excited to be here. Are you fired up and ready to help folks earn some profits in their business? It's all, that's what it's all about. You got to position that business for profit. Ah, position for profit. I can't wait. And Rob, you're going to be talking about how to go from good to great to extraordinary. Is that correct? That's it, man. It's levels. Everything is about levels. Everything's about <laughs> levels. Okay, we're going to learn about that this evening. All right, Jacqueline says we can hear you. Don put two. Don put three. They say we can hear you. This is good. That means the folks are ready to get going. So we're going to go and get started. Give me a mic check over there. What's up, Mario? We hear you, baby. What's up? Send me a note, Mario. We got to chat, my man. I love what you're doing. Here we go in five, four. What's up, Cheryl? Three. Two, one, it's showtime. I love this. This is the best part of the whole show. Getting started and meeting all of you. Go ahead and give a big standing check ovation check, check, for check. the one and the only Shay Brown. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up and it knows it must outrun the fastest lion or be killed and eaten. Also, every morning in Africa, a lion wakes up and knows it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it will starve to death. You've heard it before. It doesn't matter whether you're a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you better be what? You better be running. That's right. That's right. You better be running. Life is about meaning. And meaning is about service. Isn't that the reason why we're all here? Isn't that what we're all searching for? 2013, the People Performers Institute was created. 5,000 clients who we've helped turn their idea into a reality, their reality into a business, their business into a movement, impacting 5.7 million lives around the world. Imagine that! 
My name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome to the Happy Entrepreneur Network, the world's largest organization for the well-being of an entrepreneur. And as we always say, our mission at the Happy Entrepreneur Network, our mission is to inspire, empower, and provide resources for the entrepreneur to live a balanced life and execute their vision for the people they were called to serve. And our mantra, you know, I love our belief. Everyone should have a belief statement. Our belief is the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. With that being said, let's get started. Well, it's a great day. Once again, my name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country for one reason and one reason only, and that is to bring you the resources you need to support the vision that you have for the people that you were called to serve. So I'm excited. I'm honored to be here and be your host. We're in for a treat. We have none other than the Anisha over there. Anisha, where are you coming in from this evening or this morning? So I'm live from Las Vegas, Nevada, live from Las Vegas. What's up, Las Vegas in the house? That's right. That's right. And all the way on the other side, what's up, Renee Lowry? What's up, Stefan Youngblood? Thanks for joining. We have none other than the one and the only, the man himself, over there with his shirt on. Trevor Austin, I get me a shirt. I love that shirt, Fit World. I need a shirt. Anisha, we need shirts, right? That's so cool. It says mm-hmm. Fit World on it. But let's all say hello to Rob. Rob, where are you coming in from? I'm in right between Baltimore and D.C. and Maryland. I'm right in the middle. So between Baltimore and D.C. and Maryland. Yeah. So you're in Maryland. Yeah. Is that what you're trying to tell us? You're like yeah, in yeah, the state I, of I, Maryland. I love Baltimore. I love D.C. I, like, I, I want to claim I'm the DMV guy. When you say DMV, no one knows what that is unless you're from the DMV. So I'm like, you know, <laughs> I got to say Baltimore and D.C. is me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Well, welcome, everybody. Thanks a lot. Uh, we see Gayla out there. She says, hey, Anisha. She needs to have a little shade, but that's cool. Thanks a lot for joining <laughs> We appreciate it. Anisha's ready. Now, you know, we always talk about that the results that show up in your life, this is one of our core values. The results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. And we're going to have a conversation today around results in your life, and Rob's going to talk about that. And then we have a conversation about results in your business. Results in your business mean money in the bank or results in your bank account. Can someone say ching ching? If you're ready for a little ching ching, if you're ready to earn a little extra money in your bank account so you can have more meaning in the world, if you're ready just to have more impact in the world because you have more income, look right below the video. Look right below the video and write these words. Ching ching. Hashtag (laughs) it's my time. (laughs) Just put ching ching. You know how to spell ching ching? Don't worry about it. Ching, ching, <laughs> hashtag, it's my time. You know, Anisha, when you hear those words, the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. You're going to talk about results in a bank account, but what does it mean to you to have results in your life? You are a wife. You have four children. You're an entrepreneur. You're out there doing that thing. I don't know how you do it, woman. I don't know how you do it. Just before the show, she said, Shay, you might have some little ones come running in. They might be screaming and yelling. I said, they can join the show. You hear results in your life, Anisha. Why is it so important to have that balance? I mean, that's the most important thing for me. That's why I became an entrepreneur, because I firmly believe that, you know, for my, don't mind the grammar, all money ain't good money. And it's really about having a business and a life that you love. So if your business is not creating a life that you love, then you're in the wrong business. You're in the wrong business. That means I agree with you 100%. I see Mario put ching, ching. Sean, what's up, Sean? You got Sean LeRae Brinkley in the house. She said ching, 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 ching. Hey, Cheryl, we see you out there, ching, ching. What's up, Doug Eagles? Thanks a lot for joining, my man. He's also in the DMV. Now, now, now Rob says he's between D.C. and Baltimore. That means like Laurel, right? <laughs> yeah, Largo. Close. And that's exactly close, what Doug is, close. by the way. Y'all are probably very neighbors very and don't even know it, by the way. Y'all are just neighbors. Don't even know it. But you can claim the DMV. Um, Rob, why is it important for folks to have results in their life and specifically to take care of their health? Um, you know, somewhere I read that, you know, if you have all the money in the world, and you would lose your health, what, would you, what do you want to spend your money on? And it's really health. And you really can't buy good health in many cases. 
Um, you can get yeah. good care, but sometimes that good health. So why is it important for folks to be fit, to be well, to be healthy so they can be focused? Talk about that if you can. Uh, Doug said he just landed in Arizona. Show off, man. You're in Arizona right now. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching, man. Can't wait to have you on the show. He comes on in about two weeks. Over to you, Rob. Well, you know, we only have so much time on this planet. You know, when you go to the grave, you have your birth date, you have your death date, and you have that dash in between. That dash is uh, sometimes very, very short. So every moment, and the next moment is not promised, but every moment is the most important moment. And your mind, body, and spirit should be your main focus for each moment. So in order to have a great life, meaning you are happy with the person that you see in the mirror. And if you have inner peace, then you'll have outer peace. So why is it important for health? Because you're not healthy. You're disgruntled. You're negative. You're rude. Uh, you're disrespectful. You're violent. You're hurtful. And hurt people hurt people. So I think we need healthy because healthy is the new wealthy. I like it. I like it. Healthy is the new wealthy. Someone do me a favor right now. Look right below the video. Look right below the video. And it's put healthy is the new wealthy someone jot that down healthy like right now all my digital note takers you look right below <laughs> the video we're going to pay that forward to another entrepreneur that's out there we're going to pay that forward to someone else out there right now they need to hear that message and we need to hear it as well healthy yeah. is the new wealthy go ahead and write that right below the video if you can do that what's up cynthia green thanks for joining what's up sean harris hey man i got your message as well i like to go into one of my favorite segments now i don't know rob if you've seen this anisha i know some you've seen this but i love this segment because this is called the champion's creed now for those folks that are listening for the very first time all our new viewers um this is when we encourage another entrepreneur this is when we uplift another business owner this is when we hug on another mom or a husband or a brother or a uncle or a sister this is when we all give the big give back and we all can participate and it doesn't take well a cash app account <laughs> it doesn't take a zelly it doesn't take a wire transfer it just takes you helping someone else and then that what life is all about it's called yeah. the champion's creed rod and Rob, and the Champions Creed is something my mentor gave me 15 years ago to kind of help me get through tough times, to help me continue to go when I wanted to quit many, many times. Even today, sometimes I'm like, why do I do this? <laughs> why can't I just have a good W-2? <laughs> why, why, why? But then I understand there's a calling. I understand there's a purpose. I understand there's a vision for the people yeah. I was called to serve. So it's called yeah. Champions Creed, by the way. I see you, Stacey Moore. Hashtag healthy is the new wealthy. And I'm going to put this up there and I'm going to read this. And then I'm going to ask uh, 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 any, meeny, miny, mo, Rob, if you'll read this. And then Anisha, if you have some comments behind that, if you would. But it's called Champions <laughs> Creed. And the Champions Creed, here's how it goes for all our listeners. And everyone can participate. So pay attention. The happy entrepreneur. Champions Creed. I'm not judged by the number of times I fail, and I've been there, baby, but by the number of times I succeed, and the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying, and keep trying. Got to the remix version, and keep yeah. trying. I'm part of the Puff Daddy yeah. generation, baby. So, yeah. Rod, can you do me a favor? Do you mind yeah. taking a look below that video, and do you mind reading those words? I'm going to put those words back up there, and as yeah. Rod reads those words out there, I want every single one of you to look below the video, and I want you to write these words as he's reading it. I want you to write, you are a champion. Hashtag keep going. Now, it's you not are. for you. It's not for you. It's for someone else. It's to encourage yeah. them. It's to inspire them. It's to uplift them. It's to help them. Even if they're doing very, very well, well, they're always looking over their shoulder saying, I can do better. And, and it's just some self-doubt there. You, you, you watching right now, do me a favor. Look below that video. I want you to write these words. You are a champion. Hashtag keep going you are champion hashtag keep going all right Rob, yeah. i'm gonna bring it up yeah. go ahead and yeah. read that for the audience out there right now the champions creed champions creed i am not judged by the number of times i fail but by the number of times i succeed and the number of times i succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times i can fail and keep trying and keep trying. Where's 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 the remix version, brother? And keep trying. And keep trying. And keep trying. Look, do you mind stepping <laughs> back if you can? And do you mind sharing? They're gonna read how wonderful you are. Okay, they're gonna find you on Facebook. They're gonna see all the great things you, you've done in the world. I'll talk about that later. But do you mind telling us a time where maybe things didn't go right for you in your life or in your business? And there was a setback. What lessons did you learn that we can walk away with? And what words would you share with us to encourage that? And as you're doing that, Sean, 
Larray Brinkley put, you are a champion. Hashtag keep going. Cheryl Diane put, you are a champion. Hashtag keep going. See, that's one of the things we believe at the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe. We don't just push out information. We like to all come together and hug yeah. and love on each other and support each other. And, and you, you can participate as well in doing that. All right, I'm going to turn it over to you. Talk to me over there about that. What's the, what's the challenge you've had? What's up, Matrice Robinson? Thanks for joining. Ali Muhammad, it is always a pleasure. So challenges, uh, you know, I've had the, probably the greatest challenge I've ever had is in direct proportion to life and business. You know, the doctor told me I had degenerative bone disease, and so because of that, 15 years ago, they gave me something called tramadol. From tramadol, I got something else, and from something else, I got something else. Before I knew it, I had a whole bunch of something else's, and my body was deteriorating, and my, my, per, my perspective was falling apart. My marriage was falling apart. My relationships were just not doing what they were supposed to do because I wasn't who I was supposed to be. My business was not happening the way I needed it to be because I wasn't. And so that's a bad thing. You know, it's a bad thing. Thank God for breath. Thank God for stillness. Because it was in stillness where I was able to clear those 70,000 thoughts you have a day. This key real quick. You have 70,000 thoughts a day. When you meditate, you clear those thoughts. And I started breathing and focusing on being still. I was able to get my perspective connected to the divine opening. And from there, I was able to make better choices, getting better outcomes. So everything turned around. Wow, that, that is so powerful. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for being open and honest. And Anisha, as you're listening in over there, um, you know, talk to us about having these setbacks. Talk to us about what it means to you when you hear you are a champion. Hashtag keep going. I will say hello to Mika Watkins. What's up, Mika Watkins? She's in Canada, by the way. Thanks a lot for joining. A great, wonderful person. Harvest Queen, it is always a pleasure. Thanks for joining. What's going on, Beverly? We'd love to have you in the house. I like all my digital note takers. Look right below the video and just write, you are a champion. Let's, let's believe in the giver's economy. Let's support another business owner right now. And put the hashtag keep going, right? You are a champion. Anish, when you hear those words... What does it mean for you? And what challenge have you had that you had to overcome? I mean, there's challenges every day. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you adopt that mindset that you're a champion and you spill that into everybody else, and then you just have champions around you, you know, you're just bringing that energy because my failures need to happen. They need to happen and get out of the way for my wins. So, you know, in business, I mean, we, I'm a publisher. So some of our biggest mistakes have been like uploading the wrong files and then delivering the wrong thing to an event promoter that's got 20,000 people and now his stuff is messed up. So it's not my stuff. I've messed up somebody else's stuff. No way. You know, and how, do you, <laughs> and how do you wake up that next day, you know, and look that client in the face? Mm. But it's either you do or you're out of business. You do or you you sink. You know, you, you try to make it right. You take accountability if it's affecting someone else, but you know you're a champion. And that's the biggest thing. When you know it, when you, you live it, and you bring other people around you, that energy is just so contagious. Wow, wow. so contagious. You're right on point. I can't imagine that. Um, I've had some blunders. We've had some huge mistakes as a business as well, so I get it. Uh, I admire you for being transparent and just sharing that. Some people are looking at you thinking, life's been perfect for you. You've had no challenges, <laughs> and yet you're here sharing, no, no, no. I <laughs> delivered the wrong files. They had the wrong information to the wrong Filled magazine. Filled with typos. Filled on site. With on site. <laughs> like, I went to site and said, here you go. And they're like, no, this can't be ours. You're like, no, it's, it's yours. No, it's not ours. I, I don't even want to hear about the conversation. Thank you for sharing, by the way. You are a champion. I see Cynthia Green put out there, you are a champion. D. Bowden wrote, you are a champion. B. Jacqueline Jetta says, you're looking great, Anisha. See, Anisha, you look great. You look wonderful. Oh, you. She's shining. She says, yeah. I've had a long day. Yes, I got to take care of four kids. Yes, I got a business to run. Yes, I'm a superwoman. <clears throat> shout out to all of the superwomen. And someone do me a favor. Look right below the video and just put shout out to all the superwomen in the world. Amazing, yes. incredible. I don't know how you do it, darling, but you look great and you are rocking right now. Shout out. Shout out to all the Karen Whites. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all of you that are out there right now. Love it, love it, love it. With that being said, here's what we're going to do. I want Rob does some cool stuff, by the way. Um, one of the things he does, he does beats, and he also does sands as well. So we're going to take a commercial, and then we come back. We're going to jump right into Rob. Rob's going to talk about going from good to great 
to extraordinary and how you can get those results for yourself. You can get those results in your life that will impact all of those around you. You don't want to miss what he has coming up. It's going to be amazing. And then Anisha's in the back saying, dun, 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 dun. It's time to get profits in the business. It's time to get results you want in your business. And I can't wait for that. So we're going to come right, we're going to come right to that right now as we go to purpose. Over How do we create the first railroads? How do we create the light bulb? How do we walk on the moon? Purpose. That's the mission. That's the goal. That's what we strive to figure out. And it's four key elements. You got to understand your gifts, your talents, your resources, and your passion. Your gifts are the things that you're born with. When you came out of the womb, you had it. We all have some. Some have more than others, but we got them. Talents are the things that they're very similar to gifts. These are the things that you've had training on. Things you've learned along the way and gotten better at it as time has gone on. Your resources are the things that are around you to support you. Last but not least, the passion. Passion to me is the fuel to the fire. Burning so deep, nothing can stop you. There are things that are out there that want to keep you away from your purpose. Oh, they're out there. Keep yourself covered and those distractors can get in. Keep your eye on the prize. At the core is the pupil. It's your purpose. Keeping yourself surrounded by God. The eyelid covers the eye. It protects it. And the eyelashes serve as a protectant. Also, keeping those dust particles like envy, distractions, haters, selfishness, temptation, greed, and lust out. Because when those things get into the eye, it makes the eye water. It makes the eye lose focus. When the eye lose focus, the eye no longer knows where it's going. If you don't know where you're going, you'll never get there. But what are we talking about? We're talking about your life. We're talking about the time you have on this earth. We're talking about the air that you breathe and the moments that you make. Finding your purpose. What is the finality of life? Death. When you are gone, no longer here on this earth, what will they say about you? Your dash is your life. That dash resembles what you have accomplished here on earth. Will that dash have your purpose ingrained in it? Your purpose is in you. Your purpose is in your eye. The man whose purpose was to create the railroad was for us to get around, to move. The man or the person whose purpose was to create the light bulb was so that we could see in the night. It wasn't for him, it was for us. Your purpose is not just for you. Your purpose is for the world. Your gift is not for you to keep hidden. Your gift is so you can share it with the world so that the world can be blessed by it, the world can be touched by it, the world can be moved by it, the world can be inspired by it. Because your purpose very often will inspire somebody to go find their purpose. And now we just got people out there purpose searching. Huh? Let's go out here and purpose search. Get up, get out, and get it. How about that? It is yours. Seize it. Keep your eye on the prize. With that being said, let's welcome to the stage none other than the one and the only Rob himself. Rob, great job talking about purpose. Look, if you're out there watching, Rob's going to talk about how to go from good to great to extraordinary by walking in your purpose. For everyone out there right now, Rob, they can see you, they can see Anisha, but you can't see them and you can't hear them. Is it okay if they take a moment and they write right below the video what their purpose is? And, mm. and that's a way for you to express what you're doing. And when someone writes their purpose, you go ahead and, 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 and you go ahead and, and you like it. Or you give a heart or you give a that's a way to go. So how do you do that, Shay? How can I express that before Rob comes on? You can look right below the video. What's up, Tony Moore? You can look right below the video. What's up, Gene? My man, Gene Williams in the house. What's up, Deborah? You can look right below the video and you write these words. My purpose is to dot, dot, dot. If you're Tony Moore, maybe it is. My purpose is to provide legal counsel to small businesses so they can run smoothly. If you're Cynthia Green, you're, maybe it is. My purpose is to provide the resources so marriages can last. 
if you're yeah. someone else out there watching right now, like Karen, you might put, my purpose is to help women transform their lives. This is a moment for you to spotlight your business, to spotlight your business. And Rob, Anisha, is it okay if they put their website down? Can they oh, go yeah. ahead and spotlight that? Oh, Y'all yeah. can go back and find out who they are. Would that, would that be okay, Anisha? That's beautiful. Yes. You sure? Absolutely. Okay. They've given Absolutely. permission that you can, I love this part. This is one of my favorite parts of the segment because it's when we as entrepreneurs can connect with other entrepreneurs. So what do you do just watching right now? Even if you're like, oh, gosh, yeah, I, I get so nervous when I got to write that down. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Just mm-hmm. breathe and write down my purpose is dot, dot, dot. And you can even put your website down. If you don't like your website, because who likes their website these days, you can put down the link to your Facebook page. Put down a link to your Twitter account. But I want you to connect with another entrepreneur. I want you to connect with someone else that's out there doing exactly what they're doing every single day. So how do you do it again? Just look right below the video and put my purpose is dot, dot, dot. Spotlight your business. With that being said, Rob, let me take a moment. I don't know, Anisha, can you see the notes right below there? Do you have your computer up? I see someone wrote a comic. Do you have, you have yours there, by the way, Anisha? You might not have um, it on my page. I okay. don't. Okay, I got it. Don't worry, I got it. Uh, Mika Watkins put, my purpose is to help men and women attract the relationships they deserve. Thanks mm. a lot, Mika, for sharing that out there in Canada. Love what you're doing. Beverly Wims. Beverly Wims put, my purpose is to help people learn about their health and wealth. www.xoma.com right now. And great way to spotlight your business, by the way. Mika, put the website down. Put your Facebook page down. Look, people want to connect with you. Here's what I want you to know. And I want you all to hear me like you never heard me before. Someone has the purpose of finding you right now. There's someone sitting somewhere, somewhere, and they want, they need someone just like you. So put your website down. It's not about Shea Brown. It's all about you. Uh, Sean uh, LeRae put, my purpose is to help individuals find their way back to themselves after surviving trauma. Oh, wow. How true is that? Uh, Rob, you got you got a challenge here. I don't know what you're going to say with these folks. Love that. Cheryl love Diane it. says, my purpose is to share love with others to help women walk in their God-given purpose. Mm-hmm. Well, you're going to know how to make money doing that because Anisha's about to break that thing down. She's going to talk about how to attract, how to convert, and how to, retri- how to retain. You, 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 you don't want to go anywhere. You got to catch that. What's up? Byron X. Williams said, my purpose is to help entrepreneurs and businesses improve their image using custom apparel and promotional products. Well, can I get a shirt like Rob's? What's up? Rob got Fit World hanging over there, man. He's chilling out. Uh, Trevor, I need a new design or something, man. Can a brother get a happy entrepreneur shirt? What is up? What's up? Stacy Moore, what's going on? Said, my purpose is to connect you to the resources that allow you to generate revenue and relax. <laughs> That's nice. like an oxymoron. Revenue that's, and relax. That's the real R and R right there. Mom <laughs> was like, "Look, man, I get up tomorrow morning at four a.m. in the morning. This all sounds good to me right now." <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yvette Alexander, what's going on? Yvette Alexander here in Washington D.C., a rock star right here in my ward. By the way, you should represent my ward in Ward Seven. Shout out to D.C. But by, by the way, gotta love those D.C. natives. What's going on, Anthony Abram? It is always a pleasure. Houston, Texas. I got your message, man. We're going to get you on. I just can't wait. What's up, Brian Jarrell? All right. They're here. Um, they're sharing their purpose. I can't read everybody's, but that doesn't mean that other people will not see it. These broadcasts go viral. So you look right below the video and put my purpose is dot, dot, dot. So someone else can connect with you. Hit the share button. You can pay this message for it. Uh, and he said, she's not going to give you anything that you can't share with someone else. Rob is giving my permission. Sometimes I say, Shay, why do let people do that? Because we would like to pay this message for it. All right, Rob, good to great to extraordinary. Break that thing down for us. And Anisha, as he's doing that, I'd like to get your perspective, by the way. We're going to get Rob's perspective and his view on the world. But we want to get your view on the world as well. Well, you know, so that's a process. You know, good, you know, that's where most people, you know, that's what the majority is. You know, just doing enough to pay the bills, just doing enough to get by. You know, it's kind of where everyone is. Great, you know, that's people who are doing a little bit more, um, just a little bit more, you know, a, a little bit more. Extraordinary is when you do that a little bit more uh, consistently. It's the consistency that creates the distance. Everyone thinks that Michael Jordan is who he is, and Kobe is who he is, and Tiger Woods is who he is, and Oprah is who she is, and, and, and everyone is who they are, just, they just show up this way. 
No, Shay did not show up this way. There's a lot of work that goes into that. But it's a word. Consistency is the mother of mastery. I mean, she gave birth to it. You know, and so anytime, anytime you find something that you call your purpose, if you want to create a beeline to it, then you want to find out what are the daily things, at least three things that you're going to do every single day to contribute to that purpose and do that consistently. If you do that daily, you will go from good to great to extraordinary. You know, I love how you how you lined that up, by the way. For those folks that are listening, what's up, Clark Garrison with Survival Radio Network, one of our partners. Thanks a lot for sharing it. Thanks for putting it in your group, man. Thanks for all you do. We appreciate you. We love you. What's up, Audrey Hyman? Good to great to extraordinary. Can you break that thing down? Anisha, before he comes back, because I'm going to ask him to give us three steps that we can do in order to be extraordinary. And for yeah. all of my winners out there, for all of my champions out there, for all the folks out there that have greatness, that you know that this is your year, you know that this is your time, and you're ready to step in your greatness, do me a favor. Let's send a bat signal around the world. Let's let them know that today is our day. I heard someone say that tomorrow is not promised, but then there was a remix version, part of the Puff Daddy generation. You know that the <laughs> remix version is today is not promised to you either, right? So I want right. you to own the moment. So look right below yes. the video, look right below the video, and write these words. Today is my day. Today is the day I step into my health. Today is the day I step into my finances. Today is the day, thanks to Anisha, who's going to be talking in a moment, is the day I step into my profits. Today is the day that I get my health back on track. Just look right below the video and put these words right now. Today is my what? Day, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's not promised, and today ain't promised either, by the way. All right, Anisha, give us your view of the world. You're sitting there smiling. You're making it happen out there. You're going to talk about getting these profits every single day. When he says good to great to extraordinary to extraordinary, what goes through your mind as he does that, by the way? I know y'all can't see below, but we're going to welcome a number of folks out there. Brian Jarrell is out there. What's up, Sean Harper? I can't wait, by the way. Y'all going to love Sean Harper, ex-NFL player, just a wonderful guy, regularly tunes in. He's watching. He's listening. They always teach, but they show up to be taught. Thanks for joining in, man. We appreciate you. Stacy. we appreciate you. Beverly, we appreciate you. Doris Birch up in Chicago, the fabulous one. I owe you a call, but we got to get you on the show. Over to you, Anish. Give us your view of the world. Um, you know, my key takeaway from that was the consistency factor, mm -hmm. because that's something everybody can do. It's not about resources. It's not about access. It's not about anything. It's about you, you know, and you can be extraordinary just by being consistent. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's hopeful. I love when things are hopeful and you don't go out, you have to go out and like you say, the cash app and the Zelly and all those things. No, this is something you can dig from yourself. Just be consistent and you'll be extraordinary. Mm. I like it, I like it. Just be yeah. consistent and you will be extraordinary. I'm looking yeah. out there and I see my digital note taker. Stacy Moore said, today is my day. Sean said, today is is my day. Clark Garrison, who has a great radio program, says, today is my day. What's up, Tashika Four? She says, good evening. It is morning, afternoon, whatever time it is where we are. Someone said, hmm, the consistency factor. How true is that? Today is my day. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back. We're going to finish up with Rob. He's going to talk and break that down, give us three ideas we need, and then we're going to get into making profits in the business. If you are an entrepreneur, if you are a speaker, if you are an author, if you are a coach, if you are a network marketer, or if you're someone that just wants to make a dollar and a difference, you showed up at the right place at the right time with the right folks because um, Anisha – from Las Vegas is going to break that down, break it down for us, how to attract, how to convert, and how to what? Retain. I can't mm -hmm. wait. Let's go over to Delonto Johnson, my good man. And he's going to be talking to us about creative thoughts and the importance of that. Let's hear what he has to say. May the blessing of today create victories for tomorrow. And should tomorrow never come, May the things we do today inspire creativity in someone else's life beyond ours. Hi, I'm Delano A. Johnson, author of the book Refuse to Live Talented and Broke, 10 Keys to Unlocking Your Creative Earning Potential. I got a creative thought for you. The imagination of a child soars into outer space and knows no boundary of exploration. For it is only the fear of a parent that draws the horizon and restricts 
his every dream. You know, there's something wonderful and magical about being a child. You know, when my kids were smaller, I would put them on my knee and my lap and I would bounce them up. Then I would do something else. I would throw them up in the air and their little arms and feet would be dangling and we would be laughing. And they would come down and there would be no care of life at all. They wasn't worried about if dad was gonna catch them. They wasn't worried about the price of gas at the pump. They weren't worried about their next meal. You know, when we grow older, we stop living when we start becoming children. In order for us to attain any type of meaningful success, any type of sustainable success, we are going to have to be children again. Remember this, the only time that God gives us the license to be children again is when we're imagining, when we're creating, and when we're having faith. You do that, and I guarantee you success will be around the corner. Hey, and with that, as always, I'm Delano A. Johnson. Embrace your creativity. Embrace your creativity. How important is that to have the right thoughts, to have the right mindset? Let me fix this. To have the right belief system. How important is that? That is very, very important. You know, I know, Rob, you're going to break that down and, and give us the three ways that you can go from good to great to extraordinary. Um, but we're coming to one of my favorite segments. And for those folks that are listening, you know, I, I like every evening, every morning, I wake up just thinking about this segment. Because the, the, the segment for those that are watching and listening for the very first time is a segment called Today is My January 1st. That's the segment. It's called Today is My January 1st. And that arrived to me about 10 years ago when I was going through some difficult times in my business. And it was a challenge. You know, you go through bankruptcy. That's a challenge. You go through changing your business plan. That's a challenge. You know, you learn a new technology that's not working. And at the time, we were like in the technology business and trying to do some cool things. And you talk about customers mad and screaming, woo! But every day I woke up, I started telling myself that today is my January 1st. I, I get a new start. Today is my January 1st. My past does not equal my future. Today mm -hmm. Is my January 1st. I keep putting one foot in front of the other foot, in front of the other foot, in front of the other foot. And if nothing else, worst case scenario, it's like Happy New Year. And I got to have those same feelings that I had back on December 31st. You remember how excited you were? Do you remember that you couldn't wait for the year to start? Like on the back of a napkin after a couple of drinks and cocktails, you started writing down those goals. I'm going to the gym. I'm going to spend more time in my relationship. I'm going to learn some new technology in my business. I want to start some new collaborations. No, no, I'm going to do different. It's a new me. And for some of you, that's happened. And for others, you, it hasn't. You've kind of off track. It's like the zone diet. You know, the zone diet, I love their mantra. I love their core value. The zone diet says I'm one meal from back, being back on track again. Just one meal. And I want you to know you're one second. You're one thought. Your one idea. Change your thoughts, as they say. Change your life. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to look right below the video. What's up, Ronnie Walker? What's up, Greta Thomas? It's always a pleasure. Sandy Hawkins. You guys bring out the all-stars, by the way. Y'all bring out the all-stars. Look right below the video and write these words. Today is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. As I'm saying that right now, I want you to think when you hear those words that today is my January 1st, new opportunities. Today is my January 1st, new leadership, new thoughts new ideas, new horizons, new clients, new, new, new. Today is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. If you believe that today is your January 1st, if you believe you get a fresh start, if this is your time, look right below the video and just write these words. Today is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. I'm going to do this thing right. Today is my January 1st. Happy New Year to you. It's got to be a good feeling. I love that segment because I love what it does for you. As I look below the video, I see none other than Brian Jarrell says, today is my what? January 1st. When someone writes those words, you go over there and you give them a heart. You give them a like. You tell them, yes, this is your January 1st. Yes, you're going to get it right. Yes, it's going to happen for you. Jacqueline Taylor put, today is my what? January 1st. You know, as, as I say that, I get so excited, Rob. I get so excited, Nisha. I got to turn this thing over to you. But do me a favor, Rob. Just repeat after me. And then I'm going to ask Anisha to just for fun. I got to hear you say it. I love today is my January 1st. So on the count of three, you say it with me. Just like Cheryl just said it. She wrote today is my January 1st. Are you ready, Rob? I'm ready. All right. So today is my... Oh, I got to say one, two, three. God, I <laughs> I my so mind. So one, two, three. Today is my January 1st. 
That was pretty good. That's pretty good. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. Demetri, I heard you. I heard you. I see you. Today is my January 1st. One more time, Rob. One, two, three. Today is my January 1st. <laughs> you don't have to scream, but that's cool. I believe you. I believe today is your January 1st. Beverly, today is your January 1st. D. Bolden, today is your January 1st. Anisha, I hear you sitting there. And we and they got to hear your voice. They're like, wait a minute, Shay, you and Rob, y'all can't just take over. What's up? I hear y'all. And so, Anisha, when you hear those words, today is your January 1st. First, I want you to repeat after me. And then I want you to share what it means to you when you hear those words and what it means to another entrepreneur that's out there like Shanice Whifford, who put today is my January 1st. Cheryl Brussel and big capital letters for today is my January 1st. Yes, so the Cheryl. count of three will do it. I want to hear you say today is my January 1st and then tell us what it means to you. So are you ready, Anisha? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. I'll just put today is my January 1st. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Today is my January 1st. That was good. That was good. One more time. We got to do it two times. We just got to do it two times on the count of three. And you, the audience, you can participate. You can hang at home. It's one of my favorite segments, but it's so true. We might laugh. We might joke. But at the end of the day, when these lights go off and that computer closes, you wake up inside your mind. I want you hearing a little voice saying, today is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. I'm going to do this thing. On the count of three, are you ready, Anise? One, Malika, I see you. Today is my January 1st. One, two, three. Today is my January 1st. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. Go ahead and tell us, when you hear those words, what does it mean to you? What resonates to you? What message do you hear for someone else that's writing those words like Stephanie Rose that says, I have a new start. I love it. I need a new start. What do you say to those folks that are listening? That's what it is. It's it is. It's that mindset around every day you get a fresh start and and it's to be celebrated because that's a big celebration. And there's champagne there, too. So that's always a nice thing. But, you know, it's that excitement, you know, and to wake up every day and be excited excited about whatever you got going. If it's taking the kids to school and you really don't feel like it, if it's going into the nine to five and you really don't want to, still you can be excited about it. And so I love that. Wow, thank you so much for sharing. We appreciate that. What's up, Michael Scott? We appreciate it. Rob, bring us down the home stretch. I know you're going you got you're getting up. You're, you're gonna be leaving us shortly. But I want you to take a moment to do two things. First I want you to break that thing down. What are three steps? And I want y'all all to listen right now. Three steps that you can do to not be good, not be great, but be extraordinary, that little mm. extra. And this is for results in your life, and it can transition over. I mean, Rob can talk about a lot of things and health and a lot of different things. He said, no, no, no. I just want everybody to be extraordinary. They'll make the money. That'll come, Shay. But I want mm. them to have an extraordinary marriage. I want them to have a, an extraordinary relationship. I want them to have an extraordinary with their own finances, Shay. Mm -hmm. They can be extraordinary. Give us those three steps, if you would, right now. Absolutely, man. So, honestly, this it's called the fulfillment formula. And I, I, I didn't make it up because words were before man, but, you know, it's still you got to have words to whatever you create. So I call it fulfillment formula. And I look back on my life and I said, what did I do? What was I doing that's different than what I was doing before? And it was three ingredients that made the fulfillment formula. And this thing will take anybody to be extra extraordinary in whatever area they want to be, in their family, their business, in the community, whatever it is. Three steps, three ingredients. First one mm -hmm. is self-reflection. And so self-reflection is, is a big one. Most people don't check themselves. They don't know how they're showing up in their marriage. They don't know how they're showing up in their business because they don't self-reflect. Self-reflect just means at the end of the day and throughout the day, you're looking at how things are happening. You are being mindful of what is actually going on. And it seems small, but being mindful can literally keep you from stepping in a pothole. Being mindful can, can keep you from actually bringing the wrong person into your business. So you got self-reflection. Next one is course correction. Now, this is the step that follows self-reflection because once you've, you know, I realized I thought I was doing a certain thing in my marriage, but then I asked my wife, I said, yeah, you know, how you feeling about me? She told me. I was like, whoa, <laughs> okay. Oh, so, <laughs> okay, so that's how you feel, really. Okay, that's different than what I was thinking. My paradigm shifted. So now it was time to course correct. And course correct means I had to start planning date nights. Course correct means I had to start bringing flowers because that's something that, that's her love language. And these are things I, I was not doing. But I couldn't course correct until I self-reflected. And the third ingredient that makes all this work is humility. See, humility is the ingredient that makes everything work. Because if you, if you look in at yourself, 
if you're doing self-reflection with and you're, and you're not humble, then you're going to see something different anyway. You, you, you ever wonder why the C, it sits so low? It sits so low when everything comes into it because it's low and it's humble. And when you are low and you're humble, everything flows. And so the humility allows it, the self-reflection to be accurate and course correction to put you on a destination for where you want to be. Wow, I love it. I love it. Give us those three steps again. Someone write those notes right below. Brian Jarrell is already on the case ace. He's on the case ace. He put... He put the three down, but you give it to us. Nice one. Number one was what? Self what? Self-reflection. Everyone do me a favor. Everyone look right below the video. Look right below the video and just put <laughs> self-reflection. And, yeah. you know, one of the things I'm doing right now, um, Rob, I'm back on track again. I'm off track and I'm off track because I use something called the five-minute journal. Everyone has their own ways that they do self-reflection. And it's for those that have the Apple or have the iTunes or have the um, – the iPhone, you can get any app, but it's like a journaling app. And every morning it asks me, what are three things I'm grateful for and what are three things I'm going to do today? And then at night before I go to bed, it has three more questions. What are three things that went really, really well today and what can I do differently? And when I self-reflect, I find myself appreciating the smallest things. Like I appreciate the other day that my son, who's 27 years old, cooked and I could be in the kitchen with him. And if I, if I didn't self-reflect, that moment... <laughs> It was gone. I'm, I'm yep. thinking about tomorrow. <laughs> I'm thinking about my yep. list. So everyone do me a favor. Look right below the video and put self-reflection. What's up, Anna Banks? Thanks for joining. Stephanie Rosa, we appreciate you. What was number two? Number two was what? Course what? Course correction. Course, Course correction. correction. So yep. you've got to make some changes. Thanks a lot for sharing that. And what was number three? What was number three? Three is humility. Got to roll with it. Humility. Got to roll with it. Doesn't it all come down to that at the end of the day? Look, man. Uh, I got to have you back. Uh, we got to get on to making some money on the show. We got folks that are entrepreneurs. Um, but it, we believe, you know, for those folks that are listening for the very first time, you're here at the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country. You have none other than Anisha who's sitting over there right now who's going to be talking about how to get the profits in your business. And then you have none other than Rob, who does Fit World, and he's an amazing individual. I'm going to ask him if he'll, if he'll be a producer and if he'll take some time and, and share the thought of the week so we can live healthier, happier, funner, it's funner word, lives. Yeah, yeah, and, you can, you and can I do. know you're busy, Rob. Is that something that you can step up and, and do? Because next week on Monday, we have Monday Motivation. We have Monday Momentum Day, and that's the day I love to share these with the whole tribe. Is that okay? No, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, and as you post those and we share those with me and I post those over to Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe. If you're not over there, go over to Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe dot com. Become a member. Join the tribe. Share your share your content. And Rob, can they share that out to their networks? Is that OK? I just want to make sure some people don't like us to share their stuff because they're like it's their own confidential, you know, um, content. Is it OK no. for folks to share that out? Like they can share this video out right now. They can hit the share button. Is that OK? I grew up with the Care Bears, and they said caring and sharing and sharing is caring. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And what's up, what's up with those big Mickey Mouse, those big Mickey Mouse headsets, man? You see Anisha over there, cool. She don't have no headsets. She got, she, she, her hair is too cute. You got a big headset because you like me. You ain't got no hair with a big mic coming around. Is that just the look, man? What's up with that? I'm just curious. A brother needs to know. That's all. Oh, look, you know I'm an artist, man. I grew up back in the days where Bobby Brown had the headset on, so I just feel cool with it, you know? <laughs> well, this, this, this is 2000, like 20 something, right? I mean, yeah, this, 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 right. we're not waiting to party like it's 1999. That person's no longer around, okay? We're 20 years past that day. <laughs> it's all good, man. I appreciate you. What's up, Audrey Willie? We appreciate you. Thanks so much for joining, man. Looking forward to seeing you um, on the next episode. Anisha, as, as Rob get ready to exit out, he got to get up at 4 a.m. in the morning. He's got to get the workout on. He's got a lot of stuff going on in his health world. Um, what do you have to say to him that has shared so much about how to go from good to great to extraordinary? What do you have to say to Rob? Thank you, Rob. Thank you for sharing that. And thank you for giving people a blueprint. Because so many people leave with leave people with big ideas, but don't give them a way to get there. So I, we appreciate you giving us the blueprint to get uh, to right, extraordinary, because right. that's where that's where it's at. That's where that's it's where at. the party's at. And you get ready to take them there. I appreciate that. And then you get ready to take them there. Somebody type to ching. <laughs> <laughs> and for those folks out there, here's how we give Rob a digital applause shay what in the ll cool j is a digital applause i'm just arriving for the very first time what is it a digital applause means the opportunity for you to say 
thank you, Rob. It's an opportunity to say, we appreciate you, Rob. Rob, great job. How do you do that? Yeah, how do I do that, Shay? You look right below the video. You look right below the video and just type these words. Thank you, Rob. Or look right below the video and put, we appreciate you, Rob. Rob will be going back in. He's over at the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe. He'll also be right below the video. He'll see your comments. And it's way, your way of recognizing and thanking the guy who's married. Uh, so for those that were curious, uh, he also has three kids, for those that were curious. Today when I talked to him, he was at his son's football game or football practice picking him up. He said, Shay, I'll be home in time, but my son comes first. Can we push the time back? And I said, well, 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 of course. I mean, what am I supposed to say, dude? <laughs> Leave your son there, get home. <laughs> so he's a family man. Um, and Rob, as you pull out of here, why is it important to take care of family first? I know you got to go. Just one last comment, and we'll keep on rocking and rolling. Malika said, thank you, Rob, by the way. She appreciates you. Thank Cheryl you. said, Rob, you're a rock star. She appreciates you. Lisa Mack is putting clap, 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 clap. Uh, appreciate you and your time. Why is it important to put family first? That's something that you do, my man. And then it's mm. going to be money time, ladies and gentlemen. It's yeah. going to be money time. It's Love money it. time for the <laughs> entrepreneur, buddy. It's happy <laughs> town now, but it's going to be money time coming right up. And Nisha, like, yeah, baby, let me lose. I'm ready to <laughs> rock up in here. Uh, Douglas said, thanks, Rob. Keep rocking it out. You look cool. Your Bobby Brown headphones. Now, you got to <laughs> connect with, with – um, Douglas. Douglas has an office in Largo, by the way. He does. He's in the insurance business, helping people build wealth. You're right around the corner, right in, Glen, uh, right in Laurel. Y'all have got to connect. He's just a super guy, man. I'm telling you right now. Uh, Stacy Moore says, hey, clap, clap, clap. Arthur says, great job. All right, why is it important to put family first, man? Then I got to get on to the one and only, the woman over there smiling and saying, hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, put it like this, okay? Um, that's the core of your life. When families are healthy, when families are healthy, the children are healthy. The children learn better. When families are healthy, they live longer because they are healthy. Did you know negative can kill you faster? Yeah, negative thinking can kill you. When people are healthy, they live better, they live longer, they build better communities, they evolve faster, uh, they're more positive. This all comes from the family. And so when a family is together, I mean, they're limitless. And it's just beautiful to watch how when families support each other, and how fast they grow and then how they inspire other families. Because a lot of folks are going through stuff. And, you know, your test can become a testimony which then help somebody else get through their test. And so it's important that we're continually building and growing and loving our families so that we can be that inspiration for others. Thank you so much, Rob. Rob, we appreciate you, man. God bless. You are amazing. Stephanie Rosen said, very informative, Rob. Thanks. Sandy Hawkins says, thank you, Rob, and to everyone for sharing. She's out there right now. Sean LeRae, what's up, Sean? You still up? She says, thank you so much, Rob. Uh, Cherie Broswell says, thanks, Rob. Stephanie Rosen says, thank. Venus is in the house, said, yes. Hashtag healthy. Thanks a lot, Rob. We'll see you thank soon, you. okay? God bless. Right, and for those folks that are watching right now, we're going to take a short commercial. We'll come right back, and we'll have none other than the one and the only Anisha Self. It's showtime. I can't wait. It's going to be simply amazing. We're going I've been running my whole life. I ran in high school. I ran in college. So it was very natural for me as an adult that when I started having problems, just run. I ran from my problems. The bankruptcy, the foreclosure, the repossession, the losing of my job after nine years. I ran from love, two divorces. I ran from the shame. I ran from the guilt. I ran from the embarrassment. At some point, I realized in life, you have to stop running away from your problems and start running towards your future. In life, you will come to the fork in the road and every person will have to choose the direction they will go. So I chose to keep running. I ran towards my destiny. I ran towards my purpose. I ran towards my fulfillment. I ran towards love and happiness. The thing I learned about life, the thing I've learned about success, if you don't keep running, then your life will run you. Make no mistake, there will always be reasons to stop running. Maybe it's cold outside. Maybe it's raining. Maybe he don't love you anymore. Maybe she don't love you anymore. Maybe your boss don't appreciate you. Maybe you run out of money. 
Maybe they told you you have cancer. Maybe a loved one has passed away. The thing I've learned about life, the thing I've learned about success, if you don't keep running, your life will run you. As a runner, here's what I can tell you. You are never running by yourself. There's the people who have ran ahead of you. You're not the first one to face tough challenges. If they can do it, they can overcome it, so can you. There's the people running behind you, your children, your legacy, the people that look up to you. There's people who are cheering you on, whether you hear them or not. Running is not an isolated sport, it's a team sport. Success is not an isolated sport, it's a team sport. So run on, my friend. Just keep running. And just keep running, indeed. Let me flip it over here. Just keep running, indeed. We're going to do, we're going to keep running and running and running, and we're going to run right towards the revenue. Talking about run and revenue, run and revenue, run and revenue. And for some of you, this is what you've been waiting for. Um, it's time for you in your business to really not just so much serve. I was talking to someone recently today, Anisha, and they was. They were telling me that all they've gone through in their business, and they said the biggest challenge I have, Shay, is I'm not paid what I'm worth. And I do a lot of stuff for free. And I said, there's nothing wrong with that. But there's also nothing wrong with getting a profit in their business as well. And I suggest that they tune in to this episode this evening because this episode this evening that you're going to be talking about or this morning or this afternoon or wherever they are in the world right now, this is a money conversation. And um, what I like to do as we get started, I like to just, to just to take a moment and have you, if you would, um, go ahead and share why it's important for entrepreneurs to start thinking about profits in their business. Because it's not about the money, but for many of them, it's what the money will do for them. One of our beliefs here, Anisha, one of our core values at the Happy Entrepreneur Show is that sales or revenue, well, we always say sales, sales helps you develop the resources necessary to support the vision you have for the people you were called to serve. And so as you're watching right now, you have a vision. It was given to you, I just believe by God, because I just happen to believe in God, I'm a believer. But just like Noah, there's a vision was given to Noah in the Bible, the good book. Noah didn't have the vision, it was given to him. And it was given to him to pass through him to the people he was called to serve. But, but Noah couldn't have helped achieve that vision if he didn't have the resources. If there wasn't a hammer, there wasn't a nail, if there wasn't wood, if there wasn't people coming all together right now, that wasn't happening, it would have never taken place. And so in your business right now, some of you need the resources to reach social media. Some of you need the resources in, in order to be able to pay your bills. Some of you need the resources to write a check for your loved ones. Some of you need the resources to walk away from your nine to five. And the only way to do that is to generate revenue that is profitable. And so one of the reasons, what's up, Stacy? One of the reasons, hey, what's going on, Cheryl uh, Graham? One of the reasons I asked Anisha if she would come talk and share her secret formula with you, because I know for some of you, it's got to be profit. And so she's going to talk about what is profit in a moment. But first, I want to ask her, you know, why is it important for her to go around helping businesses um, really generate profit? Because that's the vision she has for you right now. So, Anish, welcome to the show. Thanks a lot Hi. for hanging out. Thanks for being here. Um, why is generating profits for businesses so near and dear to your heart? You know, because profits are peace of mind. You know, when you have a nine to five, that's all profit. Mm -hmm. So I want the same thing for you and your business. I want you to be profitable. I don't want you at the end of the day to be worried about how you're going to keep the lights on. Because if that's the case, you know, at the end of the day, I'm all about life being happy. I want to be happy. And if my business is causing me more stress than a job would, why wouldn't I just go get a job? You know, so I see so many. I, I was researching an article for, for my magazine, Elise & Co., and they said that black women were only making $28,000 while other groups were making $148,000 on average. Mm. And that just upset me. It upset me because I see all the ladies in my timeline. I see the amazing businesses they're starting. And they deserve that same profitability in their business. 
Wow, wow. And, and, and so now you, you, you've developed this formula, you, you've developed this model that help other businesses achieve what they need to achieve. Take a moment, if you would, for those folks that are, are meeting you for the very first time. They, they've read your bio. They get a chance to learn all about you. Many of them are joined over the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe. I got a couple of notes saying, hey, who is this person? I said, she is fabulous. She's amazing. She's incredible. I've had the chance to sit down with her for breakfast. I've had the chance to be at a conference with her and learn with her. I've had a chance to witness and watch her. The woman is incredible. Um, take a moment, if you would, and tell us a little about, about who you are and, and how you got started in business. And then we're going to get into this, this, this whole model, this whole way of doing things that you have. So, I mean, I I got my start, start in business as a publisher. Um, and it was by by accident. So my best friend, and I believe she's popped in here. My best friend Stephanie. We used to go to NBA hey, All Star. You get a, you get a shout Bowl. out, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> and all those fun events, right? So we go there, and you know, there's hundreds of parties those weekends, hundreds. And we would get back home and hear about all the parties we missed, mm -hmm. and would be devastated. We're college girls spending all our money to get down there and have some fun for the weekend. So we get home and we decided we were going to create party guides for NBA All-Star Weekend, Super Bowl, and work with the night, the promoters of the big events and create a guide. So no other girl, this would happen to no other girl. She would know all of the hot parties. Mm -hmm. And so we developed that. And then we had to develop a street team to help us distribute the magazines. And so I really come from that whole world of guerrilla marketing with publishing and flyers and all that good stuff. Wow. What was one of the biggest challenges you had as you were getting started in business? And yes, she has a formula, attract, convert and retain, which you're going to get to. Um, but what was one of the biggest challenges you had just getting the business off the ground, getting going and getting people to know who you were? I mean, you know, there was definitely a knowledge gap, you know, an entrepreneur today has a very distinct advantage and it's mm -hmm. called Google. Um, you know, we, you know, we learned how to start a magazine by going to get business for dummies and how to start a magazine book from mm -hmm. the library. Mm -hmm. And God knows how dated that information was, but nonetheless, that's what we use to start our business. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a different world now. It's a different environment. And so entrepreneurs are very lucky. They're very blessed. Yeah. Yeah. So, so true is that. And, and so you found yourself coming up with this model that we're going to talk mm -hmm. about in just a moment, how to attract, how to convert and how to, what's the last one again? Retain. Retain. Uh, yeah. That's how, the key. How, how, That's how to the do key. that. Yeah. And yeah. how to actually make that a reality. Um, one question has to come up right now. Um, you're a mom. Um, you're a wife. Um, you have four beautiful kids. Uh, yeah. How do you juggle it all? I mean, I'm just curious, but we're going to get into making the money. But you also spend so much time with your family. I remember when we were there and we were having uh, breakfast down there at the hotel and you were so in tune with what was going on with your family at home. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, how does she juggling all this stuff? You're dealing with the family. You're dealing with your business. You're having a conversation with me. I'm like, wow, how does she do how do, how do you, so just for the for the woman or the male that's out there, don't be biased, it's out there yeah. right now. Do you mind sharing some of your, your secrets on how you find that balance? so that everyone gets the love from you, including your clients, including your husband, including your children, and including yeah. all the folks like me and other partners that you're with, because right now you're taking time away from your family and you're sharing and pouring out with other folks. And that just means so much. How do you do it? It's really the, it's plan, prepare, and push. And I talk about this on Sundays. Um, so I try to go live every Sunday and talk about plan, prepare, and push. So I'm very formula driven. Mm -hmm. And on Sundays, I get ready for the next week. And if it's not on the calendar, like today, I was supposed to do something and I didn't put it on the calendar and it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. So in my on my Sundays, it's plan, prepare and push and make sure that I'm ready because there's a lot of things. And the one thing that I'm not, you know, I can't let my family, you know, not have the attention they deserve. And then if I want my business to be profitable, I can't let my clients go without the attention they deserve. And I want peace of mind. So my calendar doesn't allow me to overschedule myself. It gives me some time to breathe. And so that's the tip I can give to any busy person is really respect your calendar. Plan, prepare. And what's the last one? Push. You got to push. Once 
for those folks that are out there right now, do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video. And I want you to write these words right now. I, I love that. This is just getting started, by the way. Write these words. Plan, prepare, push. Plan. So you got to plan what has to happen. Do you have to prepare? Is that what I heard? I heard that. I did hear yeah, that, right? Yeah, prepare. And then the big one is push. You've got to take massive action. <laughs> you got to lay it all on the line. You got to give it everything you have, but at least it's in an organized fashion. Um, I like what Mike Tyson said. Everybody has a plan until they hit, baby, but you got to <laughs> at least have a what? Plan. So plan, prepare, push. Someone do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and write plan, prepare, and push. Plan, prepare, and push. Stephanie Moore was the first one. She said, Shay, plan, prepare, and push. Um, Jenny King says, got to have a calendar, by the way. Got to cal have a calendar. Cheryl Diane said, attract, convert. You're talking about attract. We're going to get to attract, convert, and retain. Don't worry about that. I'll bring it. Uh, look, look, look. She came fired up. She came ready. I have some folks to show up. She was here before I was here, okay? She was ready. You put plan, prepare, and push. I love it. I love it. I love it. Malika said, plan, prepare, and push. I love my calendar. It ain't on there it does not exist she loved what you had to say by the way huh? she's got a big laugh going on there thanks a lot for sharing we appreciate that sheree broswell put plan prepare and push don't 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 worry when she said plan when she said prepare look 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 she didn't just show up just to hang out by the way she didn't show up just to hang out she said shay don't worry we're going to talk about how to attract convert and retain we're going to talk about that jacqueline taylor said respect your calendar we've got to do that yes yeah, she has a formula and yes she does implement it if you're as you're out there right now and as you're listening is it okay anish if they kind of put their number one idea on how they do their time can they share that with us and then we're gonna get into making some money is that is that, is that okay absolutely i'd love to see how others are doing it absolutely and as she said that she she will go back she's over at the happy entrepreneurs tribe she'll see your comments she'll see it in the feed she is like focused she's like look where I'm, I'm with you she's right there with you but you look right below the video and share your number one secret if it's i plan in the morning put i plan in the morning if it's i plan in the evening i plan in the evening what is your number one secret for just getting things done i like that uh, anish i'm just curious i gotta ask the question when do you plan is it best for you in the morning best for you in the evening and if so why um, I'm a night planner because that's when it gets pretty quiet around my house and I love putting on headphones. Like if you see me with my headphones on, that is my zone. So yeah, I'm a night planner. Wow. Now what do you listen to? We got to ask the question, by the way. We got to ask the question. What does she listen to? What's in those headphones? I'm going to ask her to share her playlist later. Ooh. Yeah, my playlist. It's very eclectic, um, but I love Aretha Franklin. Like there is just something about her that just makes me feel very strong and very in charge. And so I, I always listen to some Aretha Franklin. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love what you're doing. Now we are going to get to the model in a few minutes. We're going to get into attract, convert, and retain is that correct yes okay we have it up there right now for those folks that listen when we come back it's going to be show time now she's got some good stuff here i, I can't show you all, all the secrets but just no, no no i can't show you all this don't no we can't do that now but just just know just know we're going to go through something that's going to help you in your business um anisha for the folks that's listening as an entrepreneur what's the number one reason they need to tune in and get ready to make the money in their business because you have to be positioned for profit. Ooh. Profit doesn't just happen. You got to position yourself for it. Tell us a little more about that. And by the way, Venus says she's a night owl as well. Shout out to all the night owls. Yes. Um, so it's really just about, it's about getting yourself in a position to be profitable because mm -hmm. things happen. Your business is fluid. Things are going on every day. Customers are showing up. You're unsure about your numbers and your pricing. And then you undersell yourself. You undervalue yourself because you're not clear and you don't have a system to measure things. So that's where people you people can make lots of money in their business and not be profitable. I know you see these big businesses going out of business every day. You're like, how did they go out of mm -hmm. business? I go there all the time and eat. It's because they have not positioned themselves to be profitable. Wow, I love that. They haven't positioned themselves to be profitable. I'm going to go over to my man, Rob. I know he just left, but Rob, I don't know about Rob. He does beats and he does music. The guy is just a musician. He's just totally incredible. And then we come back, we're going to get right into how to get profit in your business. We're going to get right to that in just a second.
I was born to win. Before my physical body was delivered to the earth, winning was formulated in my DNA. Winning is a mindset which becomes an attitude and eventually becomes a lifestyle. Do you want to win today? I was born to win. Do you believe you can win today? See, belief is the beginning of reality. Whatever you believe, you can achieve. So if you can't see it, you can't be it. I was born to win. These are the words you must tell yourself, convince yourself, empower yourself to create your best self ever. I was born to win. Remember that the next time somebody tries to tell you you're not good enough. Remember that the next time self-doubt creeps in to convince you of the lies that you don't have what it takes. The only thing standing between you and your life's victory is you. I was born to win. The only person that can stop you from succeeding is you. God has created you a king, a queen. Now go and take control of your land. Go and claim your throne. Go and remember every piece of what you were created to be is victorious. I was born to win. You see, fear is, fear is false. Fear is false. Keep telling yourself, fear is false. False evidence appearing real. Don't let what really isn't there stop you from obtaining what really is. Fear is false evidence appearing real. I was born to win. The devil is in the details, but God made the ingredients. So don't sweat the small stuff. Make room on your plate for the big stuff. I was born to win. I love it. I was born to win. And now you're going to win because you have none other than Anisha on your team right now. Uh, I'm going to turn over to her for a few minutes and, and let her start walking you through um, th this process. And if you're ready to get profits in your business, if you're ready to use that money to make a difference in the world, do me a favor. Look right below the video and we'll do something special for you. We'll do something special for you. Everybody who does this. Just look right below the video and just put, I am ready for profits and put hashtag Anisha. Just put, I am ready for profits. Hashtag Anisha. That's that's the bat signal. You know what? I'm ready for profits. No, no. I'm ready to make more money in my business. No, no, no. I'm ready to attract. I'm ready to convert. I'm ready to retain. Look right below the video and just put I am ready for profits. Hashtag Anisha. And we'll do a search for the hashtag Anisha. And we go back through there. And you know what? I do something special for you, by the way, because it's time to make profit in your business. This is not just a hobby. This is not just a play thing. And for some of you, it is. And that's OK. This conversation is not for you. But if you're overwhelmed, if you feel stressed and overworked, if you feel underpaid and undervalued, if you feel like, God, I got everything going. Shit, I got the purpose. I'm the purpose woman. I've got the passion. I'm the passion guy. Uh, but right now, Shay, if I'm honest with you, my bank account, Shay, doesn't really reflect how good I am. And that's just a moment of transparency. It's OK. I've been there your bank account doesn't reflect how good you are, then I want you to listen carefully. We're going to change that. It all happens because today is my January 1st. So it changes right in this moment. And sometimes you show up for the Happy Entrepreneur Show and it's no big deal. You get inspired, you get motivated, and that's okay. And then other times you show up and it's just a life-changing thought. It's just one idea. You implement it and it forever changes your life. There's a lifetime value. Malika said, I'm ready for profits. Stephanie says, I'm ready for profits. Sean says, I'm ready for profits. Stacy Moore said, I'm ready for profits. They're using the Anisha. Anisha, they're ready for profits. Over to you. Take it away. Yeah. <clears throat> so great. So attract, convert, retain. It's really a process. And the reason why it's a process is because things go wrong in our businesses. And I'm the kind of person I need to go back and see what went wrong so that I can fix it. Because a lot of times as entrepreneurs, we start blaming problems on the wrong thing. And then we're spinning out of control and we're upset and we're 
thinking our business isn't working and there's one little missing thing, just one little tweak that you needed to make, but because you didn't have a process, you couldn't go back and identify what went wrong. So that's when we started looking at our business in three distinct sections. Can I so show that? it's can, the, can, I, can I show that to him? Is okay if I have a sure, secret, yeah, absolutely. secret idea I'm I have a over here? Visual learner. Right. There it is. I'm putting it up on the screen right now. So they're looking at it right this very moment. Yeah. So I'm a visual learner. And when it is a process, I like to see it. I like to see how it relates. And so attract, convert, retain, you see there in the center, it's all about your dream customers. And because I'll use bad grammar here, because all money ain't good money. I do not want money that stresses me out, that drags me down and takes me away from my dream customers. So this process is designed so you can continue to work with those folks. So it starts at the very beginning. You just got to stop the scroll. So many people get concerned with their social media posts. They want to tell everybody everything in the post. They want to tell them that the date is tomorrow. You get 25% off if you do this, that, and the third. You know, our premise with graphics is you just need people to stop. Because this is all they're doing. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Um, some you go left, some you go right. They're just moving around. So you need a striking image that people don't have to invest in. So when you put a lot of information on graphics, people feel like they need to invest time to ingest that information. So I want you to just be focused on stopping the scroll and showing them you mean business. Right after that, you start to move into the convert stage. And this is like a traditional sales so funnel. This if I can jump in for just a moment, for those folks sure. who are listening, do me a favor, look right below the video, look right below the video, and you, you have permission from Anish. She's told me at least two or three times we can share this. So hit the share button, and you can share this to your community. You can share this on your page. And I want you to write this down. Put in step number one, stop the scroll. Just Everyone just stop what you're doing. And look right below the video and put step number one, stop the scroll. Oh, how important is that? All right. So we got step number one to track. Build awareness. Show them you mean business. All right. I just want to make sure I got that right now. I'm still showing this, I'm still showing this first slide, attract, convert, and retain. Yeah. It, it, it has my attention. I don't need to see anything else. I love this. All right. Over to you. Sorry. Yeah. So this is the cliff notes, guys. This right here is the cliff notes here. So this is enough to get someone interested in, you know, and even when we show this on our social media, we found that this was too much mm. you know we could have even pared this graphic down more and it would have had a, a better result because we had a little too much information on this particular graphic so as we jump into convert that looks a lot like a traditional sales funnel this is where people start to add value build the know like and trust factor but what we also want you to do here is some recon we want you to really get to know your customers in this in the convert stage because you've got to solve their problem. Mm -hmm. You have to solve their problem or you will not convert. You ha I don't care if it's candles, body butter, a course, um, new tires. It has to solve a problem. So convert is the part two. So you, you attract, you stop the scroll. They're like, hey, let me check her out. And now it's time to start adding value in the convert stage. Oh, I love it. This is great. This is great. Okay, okay. We're just getting started. We're getting warmed up. Okay, so we got step number one, stop the scroll. Yeah. Thank all of you who put that note down. Step number two is, I can't believe this is, no, provide value. Build no like, and trust. Someone put step number two, build value. And I like how you really highlighted that. And I like how you kind of stayed right there for a moment because one of our core values here is that we believe that people will pay you today if you help them solve a problem today. Yeah. That we're all really in the problem solving business. So Anisha, when you're saying provide value, build like, build, know, like, and trust, I really resonated with that. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, God, we've got to find a way to show. She'll tell you, I called him like, look, We've got to show this. Like, they've got to see this. This is one of those things. They've got to not to know intellectually, but they've got to be able to actually implement it. So step number two is build value, build value, build value. Shay, what does that mean? It means that people will pay you today if you help them solve a problem today. We're all in the problem solving business. That's why we do. Doesn't matter do. the business, even if it's body butter, you're in the ashy solving business. People don't <laughs> want to be ashy. People want to be soft. So I mean, you know, some people don't think of it like that when they sell a product. 
Um, and then finally, this is where so many businesses get it wrong and mm -hmm. drop the ball. They don't build brand loyalty. Mm -hmm. They don't treat their customers after they swipe their cards, they're forgotten. And they don't build brand loyalty. And statistics will show you all kinds of crazy stuff about what the customers will spend with you after they're already spending with you. Mm -hmm. It's really that simple. Once they're already spending money with you, it you got to retain them. You have to retain them and treat them good. And I'm not saying send them flowers and gifts and candy. Mm -hmm. No, there's some simple things that we can talk about that you can do to retain your customers and create brand loyal advocates. Wow, I love that. We're going to break that down. We're going to share a couple other pieces so you can relate to that. Some of you are getting that one snap. But we're going to break that down to about two or three different pieces. Step number one was to do what? Stop the scroll. Step number two was to do what? Provide value. value. And what was step number three? What was step number three? Retain. Retain your existing customers. Yeah, brand loyalty. We got to retain them. We got to get them addicted to what we are doing. We're just getting started. But for some of you, once you start doing that, you'll experience more profit in your business. And how true is that? And with that being said, we'll go to a commercial. We're going to come right back. When we come right back, we're going to break that thing down. And she broke it down in a way that you can see who you are, who you serve, who, what do you sell. I mean, these are some questions that she has that she'll walk you through in a second. And it's an exercise. And you don't want to miss the exercise. You, do, you, you, know, you want to answer these questions. So we'll be right back in, in just a moment. And while we do that, we're going to go over to none other than the one and only Dr. Kinnett Thigpen. Because one of the things that I love that you're talking about right now as you're talking, Nisha, is we're talking about people being themselves. You're not telling them to be phony. You're not telling them to try to persuade someone. You're not telling them to try to convince someone. No, you're just saying, look, stop the scroll, provide value, and retain. Let's go over to Dr. Kinnett Thigpen and see how this relates to you just being you. And that's what we want you to do at the end of the day. If you're ready to get that revenue, I'm going to do something when I come back and I'll share how you don't even have to talk to anybody. I'll be right back to you. Dr. Kinnett. Hello, it's your girl, Dr. Kinnett Thigpen, also known as Dr. K, founder of Rise Women's Network. And Rise Women's Network is pleased to present to you hashtag next sister up i'm here with you today in the happy entrepreneurs tribe and today is my january 1st here's your thought of the week be you be you now many times we get caught up in the whole compare despair trap where we start to compare ourselves to other people it's in these moments where we maybe look at somebody else's business and say hmm that's similar to mine and you start to compare yourself or maybe you look at somebody who's on a 15-year entrepreneurial journey and you compare it to your three-year entrepreneurial journey. Not the same. And it's in these moments where we begin to have self-doubt or we begin to question our self-worth. But the thing is, when we're looking at other people's journey, oftentimes we're seeing the highlight reel, which is the best of the best of the best moments. Or we're looking at one single picture that was a snapshot in time and we're using that to compare our journey. Again, not the same. So when these moments start to creep into our mind, here's three things you can do. One, become aware and redirect. So be aware of what's happening and then redirect your energy to focus on your personal goals. Redirect your energy to become aggressive about meeting your destiny. The second thing is be grateful. Have that attitude of gratitude for where you are for all things, no matter how big or how small. And lastly, take a deep breath. I'm talking about that deep cleansing breath that allows you to reconnect and to reset. I challenge you this week to be you, to live your authentic life, and to stay true to yourself. I'm your girl, Dr. K. Make it a great day. That's right, Dr. K bringing it to us and really telling us at the end of the day just to be ourself and be you. For those folks that are listening, those folks that are watching, what I like to do is I was having a conversation, Nisha, with someone recently and they said, you know what, I've been really struggling, not in my business, but struggling with just one aspect of it. And the one aspect they were struggling with was sales, right? And so I talked to the person, I said, well, what's the big deal? And they said, well, I'm too busy. And I said, okay, well, if you're too busy to do sales, I kind of shared one of just one of my beliefs and one of my beliefs, I don't know if they have a slide of it, 
But one of my beliefs is that if you can't focus on your sales, y'all have that slide? Oh, good, they have it. If oh, that's not it. If you can't focus on your sales, I don't think they have it. If you can't focus on your sales, you can't be in business. Let me say that again. If you can't focus on your sales, you just can't be in business. But some of you, you're like, okay, Shay, I can do this part, but I don't can't be the person on the phone talking to people. Uh, Shay, I can't be the person running these appointments. Shay, that's just something that I don't even like to do. And I was sharing with someone recently as well is that if you don't like to sell, the best thing you can do is hire someone that does. And she says, well, Shay, that's a lot easy for you to say. And I said, well, no, 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 no. You know, I've seen this come up over and over again, and I know it's a struggle. And one of the things that I share with the person, I said, look, what if we just did the sales for you? Like, what if we just did them for you? You, you do anything, you do nothing else. You just go do what you do. You attract the leads. We send folks to an appointment page. Someone runs the appointment. They close the deal, and they just you just put the check that goes to your bank account. I just say that would be great, but it doesn't exist. And I said, you're right, it doesn't. I said, what if we created something like that? What if we created something like the sales club? And this sales club would be a place where you just have a a way that you have your own team that runs your appointments, that does your follow-ups for you, that does your qualifying for you, and they gets the credit card for you. Would that relieve some pressure for you? He says, well, absolutely, because I want to do other things in my business anyway. I said, well, mm -hmm. you're probably not alone. You're probably like a lot of folks out there that are thinking to yourself, no, no, no. I want a sales team that just does everything for me. And I don't want to hire a team. I just want a team to be working there for me. So one of the things I just want to share with you guys that we'll have coming up, it's just something that, you know, for some of you, this may resonate. And some of you, you just get the information for you. But one of the things we decided was to start a sales club. And we're launching a sales club next week. It'll be for a handful of folks that'll be in the beta. And it's an opportunity for you to get your own sales team. They get paid when you get paid. Generate unlimited no labor revenue. That means you get to do what? You get to focus on what you want to focus on. If this resonates with you and you're out there thinking, you know what, Shay? I, I really need to um, step up. I really need to have my own sales club. Just give me all the details. Here's what you can do. Here's what you can do. And we're going to sell for you. That's the cool part. Our team is going to do the work for you. You don't have to do any work at all. If that's you, you're like, Shay, <laughs> this is one way for me to do it. I love it. I love what I'm hearing. Here's what you do. Text the word sales club. It's all one word. So get your phone out right now. It doesn't cost you anything. Text the word sales club to 202-999-3515. Let me give that to you again. Text the word sales club to 202-999-3515 to get all the details. But here's what I want you to know. The team doesn't get paid really until you get paid. That's pretty cool. Secondly, we're only going to do it for a hand full of folks we just can't do it for everyone but the team is ready and they are excited about helping entrepreneurs in the one area that generates revenue in their business and you think about it the number one addiction that we have as entrepreneurs is an addiction to our labor is the primary mechanism for how we generate revenue in our business so we want some no labor revenue here's what you do as i come back over to anisha here's what you do text the word sales club so get your phone out right now Go to your messenger, type in 202-999-3515. Again, 202-999-3515. Text the word sales club, and you can share this. You can pay this message to every entrepreneur you know. Again, we're only going to take a handful, less than 100 people. I can tell you that right now. Um, and let us be your sales team. These are folks, this is what we want to do. This is what we do all day, every day, and now someone's going to do it for you. It's got to sound cool. Sound great. Once yeah. again, text the word sales club to 202-999-3515. Someone post that right below the video for me so they can have that in the feed. If you don't like, oh, hit the wrong button. If you don't like to sell, the best thing you can do is hire someone who does. One of my favorite sayings. I've been saying that for a number of years. Now we're back to none other than the one and the only Anisha, who's talking about how to attract, how to retain, and how, I mean, how to attract, how to convert, and how to what? retained by the way and she's breaking it all the way down for you here at the happy entrepreneur show the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country all because of you thank you every single one of you who pay this message forward we love you and we appreciate you all right anisha let's help them make some money let's help them answer some questions let's help them do what they do best i'm going to bring up because i had your permission to share this with them 
I'm going to bring this up. And you can just walk us through it or however you want. You just let me know yeah. when you want me to move it. I'm bringing it up. And what do we have here? So I like to get you guys excited about the process first, right? Because now I'm going to ask you to do some real work. Because a track convert retain does not work if you are not clear on who you are, your big why. So who you are is a big question that so many entrepreneurs want to ignore because it feels like busy work. It feels like, you know, I'm doing self-help in my business, but it's it's the core of your business. If you don't know who you are and how you want to show up in the world in your business, it's going to be a long road. It's going to be a long road. And then getting clear on who you serve, because not even Walmart serves everybody. I know you guys hear this everywhere. Know your avatar, your ideal client and all that good stuff. It's true. Because when you know who you serve, you can solve their problems. And if you want to get paid, you need to solve people's problems. So if you don't know who these are, these people are and you're not clear and you're not laser focused on them and their problems, then this isn't going to work for you. You know, I don't want to sell you a dream and think that this is the end all be all. And then what do you sell? Because people need to know what you're selling. It needs to be clear. What am I getting for these dollars and cents? What is the value of it? What does it look like? Because the worst thing that people say about small businesses is that it's not clear. They Mm -hmm. weren't clear with me and then people are upset and then people are leaving nasty reviews and all that stuff. You can fix that by getting clear. Getting clear. I love that. Who you are, who you serve, and what you are selling. And then earlier, one of the things I like that you mentioned that was so important earlier, I know we were going to go back over here. One of the things you mentioned was to stop the scroll. And you talked yep. about that. You said, well, after you stop the scroll, you have to you have to do what? Know, like, and trust. Take a moment and kind of re- reiterate that for the folks. Or do you want me to move to the next one? Um, so you, the only thing I'll, I'll, I'll jump back on stop the scroll because mm-hmm. that's so important. What I want you to understand here is it's, just creating a graphic that's going to create interest, you guys. This is where so many people struggle and people get frustrated. And if you can't DIY, that's okay. Shay and his team have some amazing resources that can help you with that. So you can get with his team to get graphics if you need it. But find yourself someone that can simplify your graphics. And because they are simple, it does make it easy to DIY. Absolutely so true. Thanks a lot for a plug. We got to plug it. All right. I love working with Nisha. Nisha is great. If you don't follow her, she is amazing. Don't worry. I'm going to ask her to come back, and I'm going to ask her if she will provide a weekly content on our Monday, Moment- Monday Momentum that we can share throughout the week with every single one of you who show up. So don't okay. worry. I haven't forgotten. We're going to get to that. Okay. Now. So now you see this. This looks more like a traditional sales funnel, guys. This looks like the funnels that everybody's raving over. Do you have a funnel? Do you have this? But we want you to know that the attract is still at the top of that funnel and it needs to be treated separately. You need because a lot of people think they have a problem with their funnel and their offer, but they just aren't even getting enough people to see it. Oh, that is so true. I hear, I hear that oftentimes they'll say, well, I don't even have enough qualified people. And that's a problem. I mean, that's yeah. a big problem. So then that's when you start to add things like your lead magnet. You know, mm-hmm. everybody's talking about lead magnets. And what a lead magnet, is, magnet essentially is, it's just, it's an ethical bribe. You're giving them something a little special to bribe. say, get on my list. You I know, like you're... It's, it's ethical. It's not anything bad. You're not right. going to, you know, it's not money laundering or anything like that. It's really just saying, here, get to know me better, and I appreciate you taking the time. So give them your best stuff. Mm-hmm. You, while you have their your, their attention, give them your best stuff. Love it. I love it. I love what you're going. And then you talk about brand brand advocates. Yep. So this is where people drop the ball. Mm-hmm. If someone buys your product, onboard them even the simplest thing you send them some body butter you send them a candle put a little card in there Mm -hmm. let them know how it's best to use it how they can get the longest life out of the candle what the body butter you know should you put it on right when you get out of the tub should you wait five minutes you know so that they really get the best use out of it so that's onboarding and then customer support is just having a way to reach you even if it's email and you're not getting back to them in 48 hours 
put on an autoresponder and let them know. And then loyalty, create a community, Facebook group, or somewhere where people can get together and rave about your products and services. Well, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Loyalty rewards. Kwanda Kelly put, give them your best stuff. And that is so important because there's so many folks out there. They're like, well, Shay, I don't want to give them everything for free without paying. You can't give them everything. And no. you start off with give them your best stuff. Um, why is that important? Well, because you have their attention. Mm. And so you have the opportunity now to show your value. And even if you gave them your best, you have more. And if you don't have more, then you need to get more. <laughs> because at the end of the oh day, God. people, their attention span is so short. And so you want to wow people. Mm -hmm. Anytime you have their attention, wow them. Wow. You know, I, you know, I know when we first started, um, Trevor and I, that was one of our best things is to give your best stuff up front. Grab the audience, grab the person, get them by the throat and say, look, I've got this and I've got more. I'm not holding back. And I, I think I think people know, I think people have a phony meter these days and they know when you're being phony and you're trying to say, well, here's my best stuff. But if you buy, there's more and there yeah. probably is more, but they want you to serve them. We believe in the giver's economy. The giver's economy says the person that out gives their competition out earns their competition. Let me say that again. The person that out gives their competition out earns their competition someone do me a favor look right below the video look right below the video and if you believe in giving your best stuff up front if you believe in the giver's economy just look right below you don't have to write no words you got to write no words just just put these words down hashtag serve so big yeah. that is really our mantra for the second half that we're going in with the happy entrepreneur show we finished our 100th episode a couple episodes yeah. ago and this whole season two is really about hashtag serve so big how do we give the best we have? When I talked to Anisha, one of the things that I, I liked about her, or like one of the things that really resonated, is I said, is it okay if we share the handout? Is it okay if we share the notes? Is it okay if we give it away? And she said, yes, yes, and double yes. And I'll tell you, all of my guests don't do that. And it's okay. It's not a bad thing. It's not like I'm beating up saying, why don't you do it? But if you believe in hashtag serve so big, when you look right below that video, what's up, Casita? What's up, Ivan Garrett? When you look right below that video, you see some put, someone put the words hashtag serve so big, that's who you connect with. That's who you partner with. That's yeah. who you collaborate with. That's who you build your community with. Now, I'm not saying you don't work with everybody else, but you know one thing. They show up to serve. They show up to give. I ain't say give it away for free. I ain't saying let people walk all over you. That's not what we said. What we said yeah. is you serve so big with your talents, with your time, with your treasure, with your experience, and with your expertise. Anise is not holding back. She's yeah. given everything she got, and certainly we, we appreciate that. Karen Crockett Cherry. What's up, Karen? Karen has Success Women's Conference coming up. It's going to be amazing. Karen, you got to send me. I know I should be promoted. You got to send me something. We're going to be down in Mississippi. It's the largest women's conference in Mississippi. Yeah. I can't wait to be there. It's going to be amazing. She's out there. She's watching, you, by the way. And she loves you, by the way. So, you, you, know, you bring out the all-stars. Um, Stacey Moore said, hashtag serve so big. Malika Courtney. Malika's always in the house. Thank you so much. Cheryl, Diane, we appreciate you. Douglas is still watching. Hashtag serve so big. Hashtag what? Serve so big. What's the hashtag? Serve so big. Today is your January 1st. When we come back. I'm going to ask Anisha to give us her closing comments. I'm going to ask her to share with her what you can do to be encouraged, to be inspired, to move forward. She is a rock star. She is amazing. She is incredible. And if you're out there right now, I want you to start giving her a digital applause. How do you give her a digital applause? Because we got stars. Shay, is my lights too bright? <laughs> Shay, how do I look? I said, you look great. You look wonderful. Uh, I think Rob said, you're glowing over there. Looking good. So do me a favor. Look right below the video and say, Good job, Anisha. Just say, Anisha, you are amazing. Just say, Anisha, we appreciate you. Give her a heart. Give her some love. What's up, Jeannie Jones? Always a pleasure. We're giving a digital applause to the one and the only, the most outstanding individual, the person that showed up before I showed up, the person that was ready before I was ready, none other than Anisha. Let's say, let her know she's doing a good job. Quada Kelly said, clap, clap, clap. You're doing a great job. See, they're loving you out there. I told you it was amazing, didn't I? Didn't I, didn't I tell you that? 
Thank you very much. Thank you. And, I and when you say thank you very much, I also want you to consider um, contributing, being a content producer um, on the show because I love your content. I love what you do. I love your show that you do every week. You're just incredible. Would you take some time to share that with our audience? Evan Garrett says, great job, Anisha. He said, great job out there. Thanks a lot. Cheryl Diane said, Anisha, you did a great job. You're amazing. Thank but you, guys. I still want you to share your content now. We haven't forgotten. We have not forgotten. Ladies and gentlemen, we have not forgotten. Will you do that for the audience? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because, uh, you know, our number one goal is to help black entrepreneurs position their business for profit. And so whatever we can do to serve that community, we are happy to show up and show out for them. And she has an amazing magazine. Y'all got to follow the magazine. You got to check her out, boy. She is a rock star now. She can throw down. Don't let her fool you, by the way. Don't let her fool you. Douglas Eza says, doing a great job. Sean LeRae Brinkley says, Anisha, you are amazing. We, she put all capital letters, we appreciate you so much. Stephanie Rosa said, clap, 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 clap. Malika says, great, I mean, excellent, clear content, Anisha. Thank you so much, by the way. Yeah. You are amazing so helpful out there we come back she's gonna share her closing comments she's in overtime by the way she's hanging out she's smiling <laughs> yes she has a family don't worry about that yes she has four kids don't worry about that yes she's an entrepreneur don't worry about that yes she's saving the world don't worry about that yes she's a bad mama jamma yes you can say that is true about her she smiled like yeah <laughs> i told you when i met her i said how do you do this but she makes it happen. What's up, Candy? It's always a pleasure. So we'll come back. She'll share her, her, her closing comments. Uh, the one and the only, Anisha. Let's give her a hand for all that she's doing. And as we do that, I'm going to go over to Letitia Nicole because she talks about doing something you've never done. And as Anisha was sharing this to you, thanks a lot, Venice. We see you. She put yes, yes, yes. Jacqueline Taylor Adams put Anisha, awesome. Thank you so much. As you listen to her formula, you might be thinking it's a little uncomfortable for you. But here's what I want you to know. It may be uncomfortable, but it's within your grasp. Like right now, it might be uncomfortable to go out there and attract. It might be uncomfortable for you to give it away. It might be uncomfortable for you to do the things you talked about, mm -hmm. but it's within your grasp. I'm going to ask her a question. Anisha, have you ever found yourself in a position where something was uncomfortable? And if so, if you, it's something you feel comfortable sharing with the audience, um, but you still did it anyway. What was something that was uncomfortable for you and you still stepped out and you did it anyway. I mean, things are uncomfortable every day because I'm, you got to push yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, cause it's out there, but you know, just, I remember live streaming. Oh my goodness. And still it's sometimes just pushing that red little button. And uh, I know a lot of people might share things that are a, a lot deeper than that, but sometimes it's just those little daily things that keep you in fear that you're just like, okay, I got to get past that. I have to get past that. And for me, one of those things was live streaming. It was, uh, oh my goodness, just scared all the time, scared to push the red button. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you're, you're a natural. Um, I, I love watching your broadcast. I get a chance to tune in. I get a chance to go back and see the, re see the replays on her page, by the way, for those that haven't connected with her. You're always going to be in for golden treat. And she's so authentic, and that's what I admire about her. But someone that was scared, she got an awesome background, boy. Look at that. She got awesome lights. She come with the gear now. She comes prepared. That's why when I go to my five-minute journal this evening, I'll be putting down plan, prepare, and then what? Push. push. That's my big takeaway. Plan, prepare, and what? Push, by the way. Plan, prepare, and push. Awesome. Audra Hyman wanted you to know that you're doing a good job, by the way. She's out there watching. She's here in the great state of Maryland. A busy person. Travels all over the world, by the way. She said you're doing a great job. All right, let's go with Letitia Nicole, and then we come back. And Nisha's going to give us us closing comments so we can go out there and we can what? We can have profits in our business, and uh, we can make a difference in the world. And we can make a dollar. That feels good. We'll be right back in just a moment. Thanks a lot. You don't want to. Hello, hello, hello to all of you happy entrepreneurs out there. Today is my January the 1st. My name is Letitia Nicole Beatty, and I'm the CEO founder of Speak Life Enterprises. And today I have a motivational message for you. But first I wanna say thank you to the visionary, to the founder of this amazing group of these amazing entrepreneurs, Shay Brown. Hey, how you doing? Thank you so much for allowing me to speak life. Now, 
back to my message. Y'all listen to me. In order to get something you've never had, you're gonna have to do something you've never done. Now, I'm not telling you this just because I read it. I'm telling you this because I've lived it. I had to get out of my comfort zone. I had to start talking to people and presenting myself to people when, even when I didn't feel confident. So I got a little story for you. One day I walked into a room of entrepreneurs and instead of shrinking down, I stood up and I went in there and I told them who I was and what I did. And I left out of there with two clients. So go and be amazing. Don't shrink down. Do something you've never done so you can get what you've never had. You guys, my name is Letitia Nicole, and I speak life so that we all may have life more abundantly. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Do something you've never done before. Now, I'm looking over there for the person that's afraid to hit the live stream button. Uh, I'm looking over at the person with the cool lights going on. I'm looking at the person with those cool, funky glasses right now. You see her background. If I open it up right now, you're going to see she got something called killing it in the background. Let's give her, let's, let's, let's give her a wide angle. Can y'all open that up for the one and the only? Now, look. Here's someone that says, I'm worried about being on live stream. And she has a little thing called killing it. Uh, now, why do you have that killing it note right there? But they're looking at your background, by the way. They see, now, who do you have up in the magazines? That's pretty cool. Um, tell us about this whole killing it. Why do you have to see that when you, like, show up? And I love the magazine cover up there. Talk about that for a moment. We're sneaking behind the curtain. We're learning yeah. more about Anisha, by the way. I didn't know I was you gonna do this. You learn a lot about me back there. Like that that's really my life behind me and it's intentional. So those are my magazine covers. Um, all of those we did over the course of my career. And mom um, boss. you know, y'all killing it you, is Do y'all see that mom boss back there? Mom <laughs> I'm not sure if a husband out there, but it's a mom boss. It don't say mom and dad. It says mom boss. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry, keep Keep on, keep on no. talking. I just couldn't. We're all, we're all sneaking a peek behind your thing, by the way. So you know. yeah, no, it's intentional, you know. And I will say this about fear, you know, when you're afraid to do something, being prepared helps. So things like that, you know, I knew live streaming was something that initially scared me. I'm not really scared anymore. I get a little, a little something sometimes, but not as much anymore. But I knew things like making sure I had a background that I liked getting some lights, getting a decent camera, those kinds of things would make me feel more comfortable. So that's the advice I would give to someone who's scared to do something. If you're scared, get prepared. If you're scared to run a marathon, get prepared for it. If you're scared to start a business, get prepared for it. And then it just feels different. It feels like you can do it. Yeah. Man, that is so powerful. And we're just curious. I mean, we're like in overtime, by the way. We're just we're having some fun right now. But she's so cool. So that book, can y'all can can open that camera back up for me? Open that camera back up. Okay, there. They can see it. There's a camera back there. There's a pink thing. Now, of all the books you read, now, other than the good Bible, you can't bring the good Bible. You got a lot of stuff back there. Um, do, do you mind telling us about maybe one of, the fav one of your favorite articles that you wrote for the magazine? We're just curious. You're kind of curious, like, what was really cool? What was really fun? like to be behind the scenes um do you mind sharing that and um maybe yeah share that i'm just curious by we see the big thing at least we see it right there with the big blue on that's kind of cool yeah so that's our most recent issue and mm -hmm. i have to say it's it was my most fun issue like the part of the magazine i really enjoy is mm -hmm. i do a note from i call myself the curator Okay. Because what I am doing is curating content for my audience because we have guest um, writers. Mm -hmm. So I write a note from the curator. And that's always my favorite part because I get to be personal and I get to be motivational and I get to really share a lot of me and be, you know, it's almost like journaling and really encourage our readers to take advantage of the content. So that's usually my favorite part of the magazine is when I get to write that note from the curator. Oh, wow. Um, what was one of the notes you wrote? I know we got it. We have to get the magazine. I want you to tell them how they can connect with you and, and all that. Yeah. But can you give us some context in one of the notes? Don't 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 give away the most recent one, right? They got to get the issue. They got to they got to sign up. They got to contact you. No, no, that's the one I want to give them because in this most recent one, I talked about doing it all. 
What? You know, I talked about doing it all because so many of us say we're going to do something when we do this. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm going to start my business when I lose 10 pounds. I'm going to go live after I do this. And you can do it all at one time because guess what? If your finances are messed up in your personal life, they're going to bleed into your business life. So get that together, too. You've got to be working on all of yourself. You want to be a better mom? You don't have to wait till you have a successful business to do that. Be a better mom today. So that's what I talked about in this issue is like, just do it all. Just wake up, make the plan, put it on your calendar and tackle it. Wow. Wow. Who's who's someone that you have admired? Uh, maybe um, maybe someone has been a mentor to you. Maybe it's been a mentor you got a chance to meet. Maybe it's a mentor through videos or through their books. And what's one of the lessons that you would share with the audience? And, and ladies and gentlemen, for those that are watching that are here at the Happy Entrepreneur Show, um, yeah, I don't have a list of questions, by the way. Uh, at least uh, Anish didn't make sure I had to ask anything. She said, Shay, yeah. I'm just here to share, okay? And yeah. so I just thought I'd ask the question because she's got so much energy over there. I'm like, how does she have all this energy? Um, and I'm just curious, who's, who's been a mentor to you? And what's one of the lessons that you learned that you can take away from that the audience can take away. And I'm going to encourage every single one of you to connect with Anisha. She'll tell you how you connect with her in a moment. I know they've already Googled you. They've already found you. They found you on Instagram. <laughs> they found you. They found your magazine. But she's going to give it to you anyway. But I want to know who's been a mentor to her and, and how she's got to where she is now. So, I mean, I'm a I'm an avid learner. So, you know, I stay current with people in my industry and I love following people like yourself, April Franks, Dave Anderson. Those are people that pour into me on a, on a daily. So those folks pour into me and help me be my best self. But this really started as a kid. You know, my grandmother, she bless her heart. This woman married my grandfather at, he was her high school sweetheart. Mm-hmm. And then he met my biological grandmother had eight children. And then they divorced. And then my grandmother, who I call my grandmother, Betty, she married him after he married someone else and had eight children. And she raised me. Wow. So and this woman is, by all means, someone who just pours into people. That's what she does. She pours into people. So that's the example I grew up with is that, you know, you lead with pouring into people. If you want that kind of energy for your community and your family, then that's how you live your life. That's, you know, and it doesn't mean you have to, because not everybody has the bandwidth to go and volunteer at the homeless shelter or do charities or start your own nonprofit. You pour where you can, you know, pour where you can and fill people up and they're going to fill you up. They're just going to keep filling you up. How true is that that is so very very true one of the things i admire about you and tell them when you when you when your show airs and so forth because one of the things i admire i get a chance to watch it and i don't get a chance to always to write comments and everything but i'm watching it's in my ears i'm like man she just gives it she just gives it and she just gives it I'm like it was just it was it was it was it was amazing and i actually sent her a note i said wow i remember meeting her and sometimes you meet people at a conference and it's kind of cool and then you get a chance to follow them but when i saw it i actually I actually reached out to her i said hey you're doing some incredible things I'd be honored if you'd be here. And so it's an honor to know that you're here and that you can follow us. So thank you uh, so much for giving us so much of your time and so much of your energy. We really, really appreciate that. So when does your show air? Um, So folks can tune in. I'm going to encourage every single one of you, man. Go back. Go to her page. Go online. Find it. It's on Instagram, I'm sure. It's on Facebook. Go back and watch because she really is amazing. She walks the walk and she talks the talk. And um, I'm having the honor to be here with someone that has so much greatness, so much potential, and just making a big difference in the world. So how can they connect with you? How can they find you? Well, thank you. I appreciate you for having me and for for taking in my content. You know, that means a lot to me. I wish I was as organized as Shay and we had a time and a schedule, but I am pretty diligent. I mean, my Sunday thing, we always try to go live with a Sunday plan, prepare and push. And then the rest of it is just pretty ad hoc um, in terms of when we go live. But if you're following us at Elise and Co, you'll catch us. And we do a lot of content series. So, you know, whenever we're, we're pushing something, we try to make sure that there's lots of follow up and there's lots of opportunity for you to retain the information. Yeah, that, that's true. Um, 
what do you say to your to your husband um, that might be watching right now, or your four kids, or maybe to go back and see the see the video later? Um, what message would you have for them? And I, I'm just curious. You don't have to have a message at all, by the way. But I'm, yeah. I'm just curious as, as you're right now listening to two messages. This is really cool, folks. We've never done this before, but she's like, Shay, you can ask me whatever question you want. Yeah. So I'm just curious. What message is a guy who just recently got married? And she's been married for a number of years. Um, what message would you have for your husband first? And then second, uh, one day your kids may go back and they, they, they may see this one day in the archives. And um, what message would you have for them? So first to your husband. And, uh, well, then- to my husband, I, I appreciate his support. And, you know, he's really jumped in there, you know, as my business is growing and it's getting we're getting busier and busier. You know, he's a he's an amazing chef and he he's cooking dinners and he's picking up kids and being the drop off dad. And so I appreciate him, not just for the task, but just for seeing me and wanting to give me that gift to wanting to me to not feel guilty, you know, about missing some of those mom things and really just jumping in there and, and handling it. So I really, I appreciate that. Well, thank you. Um, thank you so much for letting you spend so much time with us this evening. We had a sound check that many of you know, we pushed that back. She got on a little bit early. I know that through her schedule off, but she was right there and she was hanging in there with us. So thank you so much. And thank you to your husband. So shout out to your husband for all yeah. that he does and support you. And what message do you have for your kids? For my kiddos, you know, I hope that I'm I'm setting the examples that have been set for me. You know, I was my mom had me when she was 14 years old and she's still here in my life. But she she knew enough to know that I needed a tribe. I needed a tribe of people to pour into me. And so she put me in that position. And so I hope that I'm giving those same things to my kids. I hope they understand that we have a tutor come and help them. And we we put them in these things so that they can have all these people that just pour into their greatness. Wow. Wow. That, that is so important. All right. So your closing comments. Uh, once again, thank you so much for being on the Happy Entrepreneur show, show. Yeah. Thank you for pouring out. Thank you for giving of your time. Thank you for participating. What closing comments do you have for the entrepreneurs that are out there that are listening right now, that are so tuned in? Uh, what words of encouragement? Um, what would you like to share with them from your heart to their heart? And once again, um, we appreciate you. Thank you so much on behalf of the whole Happy Entrepreneur Tribe for being here. Um, I need you to answer my question, though. We're going to get some content from you on a, uh, so you can share with the group. Absolutely. She hasn't answered my Absolutely. question. I haven't forgotten, by the I way. Will be- I'm so honored that I'm so honored that you would ask. Absolutely. Great. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Y'all tune in. She said one of she says she's going to do it. She's really going to do it. So yeah. y'all are going to really enjoy uh, learning more about who she is and the depth that she had. We only had so much time. I wish she had more time, but she was able to share that with you. All right. Your closing comments as we get ready to close this thing out. Everyone is out there. Hit the heart button. Hit the like button. Let's give it up for the one and the only none other than Anisha. Yay! I mean, the thing I'd leave you guys with is start where you are. You know, it nothing happens if you don't start. And don't be afraid of it and break it down. I'm, I'm giving you a lot here, but don't be afraid take your, and break take it your, down in time. little, okay. little bite-sized pieces, you guys. That's why I love systems and process because it lets you see where you are and let it breathe. You're not in a race with anyone. You're not in a competition with anyone. This is your journey. So enjoy it and allow it to take you where you want to be. Wow. With that being said, thanks a lot. We appreciate you. For every one of you out there that are watching, thank you for showing up. <clears throat> thank you for paying the message forward. Thank you for all of our digital note takers who's been taking notes throughout this whole episode. We appreciate you. Without you, there Absolutely. is no show. Wherever I go, I'm always bragging. I'm always talking about the Happy Entrepreneur Tribe and how it's a, it's a tribe and a community of folks who believe in uplifting, who believe in supporting, who believe in loving, and believe in helping everyone rise. You know, that's what it's all about. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, we look forward to the next episode. We look forward to connecting. Some of you I'm looking forward to connecting with and shaking your hand and meeting you face to face. Others of you I know will be joining us over at the closedconference.com. I don't think I shared that tonight, but um, we'll be live. We'll be it'll be in Atlanta. I'll be talking to Anisha. I'm gonna see if I can get her there and do a breakout session. Don't worry. She don't know that yet. Um, and it's going to be happening in, in uh, December. You can go to closedconference.com. Um, you can be my guest. For the first 100 people, there is no cost to attend. Close. 
Conference.com happening at the Porsche Hotel. And yeah, we'll be talking about how to close the deal and how to grow your business. With that being said, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Evan. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you, Stacy. If I try to get to all of you, I couldn't do it. But above all, thank you, Anisha. God bless for those that are hearing my voice for the first time. My name, by the way, is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you, I promise you from the bottom of my heart, we'll make some good things happen. We connect again next time. Look right below the video and hit the the button. Hashtag serve so big. We'll see you soon. God bless. Peace. It's been real. Please go ahead and give a big standing check ovation check, 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 for check. the one and the only Shay Brown. And I'm here right now in this moment with none other than the one and only Dr. Willie Jolly. What's up, my friend? It's a privilege and a pleasure and a treat and a treasure to be in your presence. All right, Delator, we're going to get started. You ready, Delator? I'm ready, friend. I'm you ready, Dr. Kinnett? Ready, you ready. Got, no, none other than Andy Harikas and... And we have someone like a Dr. Sonia, who's a bad sister. All right, now, go ahead with your bad self. None other than the Kim Warren Martin. promise I made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Shay Brown. My check, my check. All I do is we Yes. Yes. And they stay there.